Mid-America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake is made possible by... I'm Trey Sepps and I'm a data center facilities technician at Google in the Mid-America Industrial Park. I never thought I'd be working at Google um, coming out of high school. My senior year, uh, I had a buddy refer me to OSUIT. When I walked in, my picture was up on the wall from being there whenever I was a kid and I took a Lego camp in like fourth grade. As a data center facilities technician at Google, I am on the electrical team. Uh, I do electrical and electronics maintenance. I believe that um, OSU IT being right here inside the Mid-America Industrial Park um, is a good asset for the companies within the Mid-America Industrial Park to find people to be ready to work for their company. Also by... Electricity makes our everyday lives more convenient. We all know it costs more to fill your gas tank, buy prescriptions, and even go to the doctor. In the last decade, gasoline costs rose 11% every year. A dozen eggs increased in cost nearly 8%. Your electricity? It only rose on average less than 5% each year. Your local electric cooperative works hard to keep your electric service safe, affordable, and reliable. Discover the power of your co-op membership. And by... After finishing high school, I immediately got married and started my family. Without a college degree, I found that pretty quickly my options were limited. When I started looking around for a college program for working adults, I quickly found that Rogers State was a great fit. They worked with me to get financial aid, offered classes that fit my busy schedule, and gave me personalized attention that I couldn't get at a larger school. Rogers State definitely started me on my professional career. As well as by... Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA Electricity touches 75 of the 77 counties in the state and serves as an economic development engine for all of Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Hallway Reservoir. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity in Oklahoma. And by viewers and members like you. Coming up on this week's Mid-America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake, we'll join hundreds of folks having fun in the sun during the annual pontoon rally in Splash Bash Alley at Cedar Point Marina. And Chicago native Nancy Summer introduces us to her Royal Horse Ranch on Monkey Island. Plus, lakeside dining is a lot of fun out on the deck, especially when it's one of the most popular, accessible by water restaurants on Grand Lake. We'll stop in at Island Joe's Cantina in Shangri-La. All of this coming up on Mid-America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake. This is This, this is Living, living grand, grand on Grand, grand Lake. Lake. This is Living Grand on Grand Lake. Hello and welcome to Mid-America Industrial Parks, Living Grand on Grand Lake. I'm Royal Ailes, in for our show host, Christy Wallace. She's out for a couple of weeks, but she will return. I'm here at Patricia Island Golf Course. If you ever come to the lake and want to hit some golf balls around. This 18 hole course will make it a great day for you. So come on out and try. I just finished and I had a great time. We're gonna start our show today at Cedar Point Marina where a lot of friends like to gather during their annual boat pontoon rally at the Splash Bash Alley there in Disney. Hundreds gather together, tie their boats up and listen to a lot of music and have a real good time doing so. Take a look. Uh, it's a raft out. We do it every weekend. This is just where we congregate and catch them cove. We call it Splash Bash Alley. Well, rafting out is when you set an anchor and you go uh, 
tie up with your friends and you put, you know, fenders between the boats and uh, fill your ice chests up and get your lily pads out and your mats and hang out behind the boat. Boats love to go out on the t lake and just tie up together and visit and have a good time and float around all day. Enjoy the sun and enjoy people's company and meeting new people. So we just started doing them over here and we hire a band and, and get a boat. We got our pizza. Uh, place really close to here. VIP Pizza is just right here so we can shuttle pizza and Gatorade and beverages and stuff out to the boats. I came here in the early 80s as a tourist. Uh, my family liked everybody and I thought Man, someday I want to move to Grand Lake and I got in the boat business about 15 16 years ago and uh, selling bugs, selling cobalts over in Arkansas and uh, I ran into uh, uh, Joe at a dealer meeting, at a cobalt dealer meeting and we got together and I had the opportunity to work on Grand Lake and it's been 15 years now. I love it here. Great company, great boat lines, it's just fun times. Our splash bashes, uh, they start about one in the afternoon and uh, they'll run till about five with the band. We've decided that we like splash bashes because it gives us an opportunity to hire a band, um, get that band out there to where people can see what great entertainment we do provide. Boats will start heading out and they'll go out to eat dinner on the lake, get cleaned up, and then they come back to Sharky's at night. And we have a good friend of mine, David Duval, his band RPM plays, and they people just love it. It's old 80s music, it's good times. All you gotta do is bring one of your friends to Grand Lake and bring them to a splash bash. Next thing you know, they're asking for a local real estate agent and they're then they're looking for a boat. And, uh, this lake is addictive. I mean, just look around behind me. I saw a lot of my friends back there that, yeah, they live here full time, but you know, I would say about 20% of the people on the lake are, are full time, somewhere in between 10, 20%. Uh, it just keeps getting more and more every year. Man, it's great. The schools around here are really good. Uh, my son got here when he was about three and he just graduated from high school. He's getting ready to go to school in Stillwater. And uh, raising kids, it's, it's really, you spend a lot more time with your family. You know, we fish together, we boat together, we four-wheel together. There's a lot of stuff here at Grand Lake to do. The Splash Bash is one of only a few events going on and around the lake. Stay tuned because our calendar later in the show will point you to many more events taking place on Grand Lake. Now stay with us, we have a lot more coming up, but first, here's some fun in the sun. You're watching Mid-America Industrial Parks, Living Grand on Grand Lake. This, this is, is Living, Living Grand, Grand on Grand Lake. Grand Lake. I'm Trace Epps and I'm a data center facilities technician at Google in the Mid-America Industrial Park. I never thought I'd be working at Google um, coming out of high school. My senior year, uh, I had a buddy refer me to OSUIT. When I walked in, my picture was up on the wall from being there whenever I was a kid and I took a Lego camp in like fourth grade. 
As a data center facilities technician at Google, I am on the electrical team. Uh, I do electrical and electronics maintenance. I believe that um, OSU IT being right here inside the Mid-America Industrial Park um, is a good asset for the companies within the Mid-America Industrial Park to find people to be ready to work for their company. Hello, our tip of the day. Not only do we need to wear our life jacket to keep us safe, another very important thing that we often forget about when we get in the boat is our kill switch. The kill switch is a simple lanyard that is attached to the ignition system on our boat. We hook that to our sails or to our life jacket when we're wearing it. That way, if we fall in the boat or fall out of the boat, it automatically kills the boat, which is a big safety issue. If we fall out, we don't want to have to worry about the boat running over us or being a danger to somebody else. And it's very simple to use. You put your life jacket on, you can clip it to yourself, clip it to your life jacket, but it's very easily overlooked. So anytime that we're going to get in our boat, not only wear your life jacket when you're moving, but hook your kill switch up, keep everybody safe. Time now for the Grand Lake Chronicles event page. Don't miss the best show on the lake, the July 4th Duck Creek Fireworks. A time-honored tradition dating back over 67 years, you won't want to miss the grandest firework display in the entire state, an F-16 flyover, along with the famous Warbirds, and plenty of other big fun waiting for you on the 4th at Grand Lake. July 10th and 11th is the first annual Grand Lake of the Cherokees Glock Performance Boat Challenge Shootout in Wolf Creek Park. Watch world-class racing teams compete along the 1,300 miles of shoreline. All boats will be on display at the Grove Civic Center, so go on by and take an up-and-close personal look at the machines and meet those who drive them. Friday is VIP night for the entire family, and Saturday night there will be live entertainment and an award ceremony. For more information, call 918-520-1258 or 918-964-8031. Mark your calendar for the 2015 Christmas in July Quilt Show, July 24th and 25th at the Grove Civic Center. There will be class workshops along with judge quilts and cash prizes, plus much, much more. Call Peggy Johnson at 918-314-0112. July 25th, Arrowhead Yacht Club and Boat Sales host Cobalt Customer Appreciation Splash Bash in Ketchum Cove. Call 918-782-3292 so you don't miss any of the action. Well, that's it for now on the Grand Lake Chronicles events page. Welcome back to Mid-America Industrial Park's Living Grand on Grand Lake, coming to you from Patricia Island Golf Course. Of course, living on Grand Lake is great and everybody wants to come up here and have a good time and find some of the unique things to do. And one of those places here on the lake is the Royal Horse Ranch. Chicago native Nancy Summer likes to teach kids how to ride. And she offers this opportunity to all who want to participate. Take a look. I rode as a little kid and I rode through my life, but I never owned a horse until I turned 40. And then my husband decided to have a midlife crisis. We lived in downtown Chicago and he thought it would be a good idea if we went and bought a horse ranch. I had relatives on Grand Lake, on Monkey Island, and what we did was found a piece, this piece of property 21 years ago, brought our horses from Chicago and started Royal Horse Ranch. We actually were event consultants. We did corporate special events. And I loved it. My husband was my partner and he hated it. Um, I think primarily because what you have to do as an event consultant is shoot from the hip. 
and he's not a shoot from the hip kind of guy. <laughs> Actually, it was the best thing that I think we've ever done. This is the longest the two of us have lived anywhere. And we love Monkey Island, we love Grand Lake. And for us, living in the big city, um, and then coming to Monkey Island, where everybody comes for vacation, or they're retired, is like being with happy people all the time. It's really cool. Well, we do trail rides to the public. Um, we do it every day by reservation, except for Tuesdays. So, and we do it year round. Well, that we do hour and half hour, and it's down by the lake, through the woods, in the pasture. It's a beautiful ride. and we own 40 horses, and then we board. We have about 55 horses on the property, so the others are boarders. One of the horses that was on the trail ride is a horse by the name of Dalmatian, and it's pretty obvious who he is. He has been doing trail rides for 17 years and is great at his job. Um, we put seven-year-old kids to 10-year-old kids on him, and he does his job, and we, he's one guy that everybody says, can I ride Dalmatian? Um, we have Jasmine, She's a, she is a great trail horse. We have this horse behind me, which is the lead horse. Uh, it's a buckskin uh, gelding by the name of Butter. I call him Butterball. Christina calls him Buttercup. <laughs> So those are some of our favorites. We have a couple of ponies that as kids grow up and they come over the years, they always reminisce about Cherokee, who's a little Palomino pony, that he's been doing trail rides for 20 years with us. But we also do Grand Lake Horse Camp, which is a resident horse camp for kids. Um, they actually come and live here for a week at a time, and we try to teach them as much as we can teach them. Then we also have Royal Horse Ranch, which is we board horses, we train horses, we have a breeding stallion, we have, um, I teach Hunter Jumper, um, we also do give Western lessons. You know, we do all of this stuff just to keep us from getting bored. So for us, it's like paradise. Um, I don't think I could ever go back to Chicago. Um, and the people are really so much friendlier here. You know, this is a seven day a week, no vacation time kind of job, but we love what we do. And so therefore it's been, it's been really good. For more information about summer camps, lessons, and trail rides at the Royal Horse Ranch, visit their website at grandlakehorses.net. Now stay with us, we have a lot more coming up, but first, here's some more fun in the sun. You're watching Mid-America Industrial Parks, Living Grand on Grand Lake. And this is Living Land on Green Lake. Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA Electricity touches 75 of 77 counties in the state and serves as an economic development engine for all of Oklahoma. 
At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Hallway Reservoir. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity in Oklahoma. You two look happy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Okay. Cherokee Casino and Hotel, West Siloam Springs. The feeling stays with you. Welcome back to Mid-America's Industrial Parks, Living Grand on Grand Lake. I'm Royal Ailes. One of Grand Lake's most popular restaurants is Island Joe's Cantina in Shangri-La. It's one of those accessible by water restaurants that offers lakeside dining and great views of the lake to enjoy with friends and family. Owner Kenny and Tina Smith believe a weekend getaway should include a family-friendly menu and a little extra for the adults as well. vacation every time you come to the lake. You have a different set of friends down here. And I know when we were weekenders before we had Island Joe's, we, we couldn't wait to get down here on Friday night. Dump your stuff at the house and then you go out and to see your lake friends. Our friends of ours had the marina and uh, they were looking to somebody to run the uh, restaurant, so they asked Tina if she wanted to do it. She said yes, and after quite a bit of talking, and they talked her into it, so, and it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> and I had a friend that was running this, and she couldn't get any help like in April or May. That was about May, probably. And I said, well, I'll come help you. So I did that for three summers, and then they offered me the lease after four summers. So. I'm the maintenance man, she's the boss. <laughs> Oh, it's the location more than anything else. We're, we're actually right out in the water location, have water access, and then of course we have road access, but it's actually just where, where we're at, you know, the location. Well, we, the good thing about our business is that we get a lot of boat traffic, people coming in off the boats, and, all, and, and so we get a, a variant of clients all weekend long. Some that'll be here Saturday won't be here Sunday, and, and they just, Seem to rotate, and then we have our regulars, of course. Uh, we try to talk and say hi to about everybody that comes in the door. We don't always get that done. So we, we, we say hi, I'm glad you're here. Thank you when they leave. We try to make sure everybody knows that, that we want them here, you know. Uh, as far as who's the boss, uh, if it comes to the help, it's probably Tina. And I'm more the enforcer. If there's a problem, I have to take care of that. So it's, uh, you know, if I, if I tell them I want to talk to them, they usually know they're in trouble as far as the help goes. So. So we came every every weekend. Like people are more laid back. It's, it's okay if you're on lake time, island time, kind of what we call it down here. Uh, the the food we have a steak sandwich, we have a mahi sandwich, we have uh, quite a few just and then burgers and fries, etc. Seeing the different people come in, and some of them are like old friends, you know, you only see them in the summer. So we have the same people that come back every summer. 
Yeah, it's fun. That's kind of like what's, what goes on on the island stays on the island, <laughs> is our motto. Island Joe's Cantina is open six days a week and closed on Tuesdays. So pull up, tie up, and have a great time. Now, if you want to stay in touch with everything that's going on the show with Living Grand on Grand Lake, you can do so by going to our website, rsu.tv, and click Living Grand on Grand Lake. Or you can go to our Facebook page at RSU TV. Catch up on past shows and stay up to date on future shows. I'm Royal Ailes coming to you from Patricia Island Golf Course. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week with another edition of Mid-America Industrial Parks Living Grand on Grand Lake. America's Industrial Parks Living Grand on Grand Lake is made possible by I'm Trey Sepps and I am a data center facilities technician at Google in the Mid-America Industrial Park. I never thought I'd be working at Google um, coming out of high school. My senior year, uh, I had a buddy refer me to OSUIT. When I walked in, my picture was up on the wall from being there whenever I was a kid and I took a Lego camp in like fourth grade. As a data center facilities technician at Google, I am on the electrical team. Uh, I do electrical and electronics maintenance. I believe that um, OSU IT being right here inside the Mid-America Industrial Park um, is a good asset for the companies within the Mid-America Industrial Park to find people to be ready to work for their company. Also by... After finishing high school, I immediately got married and started my family. Without a college degree, I found that pretty quickly my options were limited. When I started looking around for a college program for working adults, I quickly found that Roger State was a great fit. They worked with me to get financial aid, offered classes that fit my busy schedule, and gave me personalized attention that I couldn't get at a larger school. Roger State definitely started me on my professional career. Plus by... Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA Electricity touches 75 of 77 counties in the state and serves as an economic development engine for all of Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Hallway Reservoir. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity in Oklahoma and by viewers and members like you.